tornado coming our way, dude. It came in from the west, suddenly, without warning, touching down somewhere on west 2nd south. At 500 west and 1st south, its destructive force was in full gear, leaving this club in shambles. From there, it moved east along 1st south toward the Delta Center. This home video, taken from the Joseph Smith Memorial Building, shows what happened as it approached, a direct hit. Then continuing on between the Wyndham Hotel and the Triad Center. Veering northeast now, it heads straight for the heart of the city. It wiped out a tent set up for an outdoor retailer's convention. More home video from inside a car shows you what it was like as it passed over North Temple. Debris flying everywhere. A direct hit on Temple Square and the assembly hall under construction. Then moving on into the avenues and beyond, ripping off roofs, leaving dozens of homes uninhabitable. Broke the window. The sheer force of the storm left people running for cover in every direction. So we ran across the street and just grabbed the tree, and my legs were in the air at one point. I was just holding on as, as hard as I could. Uh, I didn't have time to get inside. I kind of dove in the corner back here. I was out on the patio, and the roof came down on me. Minutes later, the destruction was evident. One man died, 49 others were rushed to nearby hospitals. Some were so critical, they were treated on the streets. The tornado blew apart buildings, blew out windows, and literally ripped trees from the ground. Governor Levitt declared a state of emergency. Hard to imagine that nature could have selected a more direct line at a more devastating moment. One of the area's hardest hit, the giant tent city constructed to host an international outdoor retailers convention. Walk out right now! Once searchers found the victims and teams assessed the damage, organizers decided to keep the convention and just delay the starting date one day. The good news is that we've been meeting with the outdoor retailers. They are going forward with the show. Cleanup is now well underway for the 120 homes damaged by the storm. Despite the staggering toll, city leaders tonight are breathing a sigh of relief. This has really, in many ways, been a miracle that we, we have been extremely lucky. It, this could have been so much worse. A tornado in downtown Salt Lake. A once-in-a-lifetime thing? Try once in a millennium. I was riding underneath it, eh? It was like being hit by millions of firecrackers just exploding all over. The first reaction, hey, that looks like a tornado. Then, it's holy cow, that is a tornado. And I looked up and there was just a whole bunch of people standing there and people like, oh, a tornado's coming, a tornado's coming. And right there, I looked up and I seen it coming. I just took off running. I was in this building right here and it looked like a fire was coming that way. I went to look at it and then I noticed it was a tornado and I tried to move and get out in my truck. I just ducked down in my truck. It came by and knocked all the windows out. But it was very wicked. It was lifting cars up. Certainly looks like it, it could have been a tornado, but it was uh, something I've never seen before. Police officer, I just in the aftermath of the tornado of 99, chaos and confusion. I want everybody this way. Everybody this way. And I saw it just form and the funnel come all the way down and touch the ground. And then I got on my radio and started screaming for my crew and to get everybody out. This is mine. You just at the stoplight? No, I was here. We seen it coming. I stopped it. I threw my daughter across the street. I crossed my seat, covered her. The twin guy went down here, we watched that. For the survivors, powerful emotions, pain, fear, and disbelief. We had a tornado. <laughs> the wind came up real fast, and you, you don't expect tornadoes here. I just thought it was a real strong windstorm, and then at some point, you know, stuff was started flying around and uh, I didn't have time to get inside. I kind of dove in the corner back here. I was out on the patio and the roof came down on me. So we ran across the street and just grabbed the tree and my legs were in the air at one point. I was just holding on as, as hard as I could. Not in Utah, no. I've been here for 27 and a half years, born and raised, and I've never saw a tornado.
It all happened in a matter of seconds, a home destroyed by a freak storm. Years of memories literally gone with the wind. The emotions are really high. It's hard because I grew up in the house. And it's just hard to see that all your memories are gone now. It's just hard to see this happen. It was a beautiful home. This longtime home of Lamar Smith and his family is among those that took the brunt of Salt Lake's twister. Amazingly, just a few feet away, damage was minimal. From the air, it's easy to see the extent of the damage and the path of the storm. The damage almost seems random. The storm hopscotched its way northeast and into the foothills. On the ground, trees and debris seem to be everywhere, blown, uprooted, ripped apart. This pine tree is just one of dozens of trees that was damaged in this storm, but it probably serves as the clearest example of the power of the storm. Look at how the base of it has just been twisted away from its roots. The funny thing about it is nobody can tell exactly where this thing came from. Chainsaws are sounds of comfort to those whose yards are full of old trees, and there are a lot of both tonight. Richard Pyatt, Eyewitness News. The damage to many homes is devastating. For many, it's hard to even look at a home torn in pieces. But insurance agents advise those affected to take a close look and prevent any further damage if possible. If you have a hole in your roof and it's raining, if, if you can reasonably go and cover that hole to prevent further damage, that's, that's what you know, we would ask them to try and do. Mydell says call your agent tonight or tomorrow, but don't worry too much. He says the majority of homeowners' policies will cover tornado damage. And if you're one of the many who had a vehicle crushed by the twister, it will probably be covered by comprehensive insurance, so it shouldn't affect your premiums. Now, if you haven't had a home or car damaged but are still waiting for power, Utah Power knows where the outages are and crews are working hard on repairs. Phone service is in the process of being restored as well, with only spotty service outages still remaining. U.S. West asks that you limit your phone use tonight to only necessary calls. Speaking of necessary, if it's not necessary to go downtown, don't. 300 West to 6 North, then you can get on. Yes. The freeway. At this point, many people are being detoured as many of the major streets are blocked while cleanup continues. Salt Lake City Police say their intention is to have the roads open by morning. I am declaring a state of emergency in the state of Utah. Now that will free up federal resources. With that statement, the governor cleared the way for plenty of help to clean up Utah's most devastating storm. As the director of the Federal Emergency Management Administration pledged FEMA support to the governor, the people of Salt Lake were already pitching in to clean up. Crews with chainsaws tackled massive trees. Teams helped clear away branches, and Utah Power struggled to get everyone back online. They're being very careful to restore power to circuits with known damage and will have to take a lot of time. Uh, the damage is quite extensive. Uh, many trees and wires down in backyards. We want to make sure that we're not endangering the public safety. They expect to have all of the main circuitry back at full operation within 20 hours, but it may take longer for some individual homes where the wires were ripped right off the house. At the Delta Center, they started the process of mending the broken panes of glass blown out by the storm. But as he viewed the widespread damage from the air, the governor said that he was already starting to see great progress. In every home that I passed, I saw not uh, a few, but dozens of neighbors in the homes working to clean up. The streets are already being cleared. 